We created our company in 2010. It was our intention to work on a piece about love and our first step was to create a short piece for the Casa Latin American Theatre Festival. They have a scratch night where Latin American artists, performers and theatre makers show new work. After that we decided to continue and make it into a bigger show and one year later we did another part of it um, during the same festival. After one and a half years, since 2010, we gathered lots of material and we researched a lot uh, around the theme and the show took a completely different direction. That's when where the nights are blue and electric was born. We are making this project out of a necessity to express our feelings and very intimate thoughts about love. And the whole process is just a clear example of it because against all the odds, against all things that um, at first doesn't seem possible, we're, we're still going on and actually against what you think and even if you think and even if you feel that your heart is crushed just as it happens with love, there's always a way, there's always a way to continue and look forward and actually fall in love again. happens in, uh, in the middle of the Mexican desert in a small city called El Paraiso. Um, in the city, in this town, there is a small bar where a man and a woman perform a cabaret night for the local people that live in the area. Um, one day a man comes in and changes their lives forever. lonely characters with very specific views and feelings about love and when they confront what they think they feel and believe about love against what actually goes on in reality for them with regards to romantic relationship or some circumstances in their lives that raises this expectation about love they just find that what they believed is just not what really happens and uh, this um, battle between things um, gives um, a lot of visual input to develop um, visual metaphor and cabaret and Latin American drama. The show is very physical. We trained in very strong foundation of our work and also we use elements of cabaret. Combining these elements and also some text and lots of Latin American music, I think we managed to create something that's really fun, entertaining and actually it's really touching. Resistance Gallery is um, supporting this work. This um, place very close to Cambridge Heath um, Overland train station. It's a very vibrant place, it's a very alternative and fresh space which currently hosts a 
huge variety of different projects, amongst them cabaret nights, um, a lot of showing of works of art, and all of them are always very connected to a Latin American Mexican background, which is just um, perfect for us because it's almost having a little home and knowing that the vibe and the energy behind it it's also with us because they somehow embrace that culture and that um, spirit of Latin American um, feelings and spirit and background.